Hi, I'm Becky Larson, epidemiologist with Eagle County Public Health. You've probably seen the um, increase in new cases over the past five days on the dashboard. And first I wanna say, don't, don't panic. Um, also want to kind of give some context behind those cases, because like we've talked about, the numbers, you know, tell part of the story, but not the entire story. So first of all, this not quite a trend, just a five day increase, but we're monitoring it to see if that increase becomes a trend. But the second thing to note is half of these cases, these newly reported cases, are associated with two different clusters. So a cluster is where we can EpiLink kind of connect uh, a bunch of cases together because they've had close contact. So kind of the difference though between these two clusters that I wanna highlight is one of them, the new cases that came up from this cluster, they were all in quarantine. So that means they were, were staying home, um, not interacting with others when they became infectious so that we're confident that that cluster won't continue to spread and compound within the community. So unfortunately with the other cluster, that's a different situation where um, we've had a, a tough time, a challenging time, identifying all of the close contacts of these cases. So it's hard for us to do that contact tracing. In addition to um, some also some challenges of understanding why it's so important to not only isolate if you're infectious, but quarantine if you're one of those close contacts who is more likely to become infected. So the reason why this is more concerning is that we need all of those things I just talked about to happen in order to prevent further spread or that future generations of spread that exponentially grow as time goes by. So kind of want to talk a little bit about quarantine and why that's important. So that's a strategy we use for other infectious diseases it's not new to COVID. And usually we reserve that for folks that have been exposed to an infectious disease and are more likely to develop the infection themselves and become infected. The reason why it's important for this particular virus is that people can spread and be infectious prior to having symptoms or knowing that they're even infected. So if we don't quarantine those close contacts, then they can be out in the community, more likely to become infected, and then spread it without knowing it, and then we're starting that transmission chain all over again. So I just wanna remind everyone that yes, the numbers have increased. Um, stay tuned for the next kind of five-day update and we'll report back on is this a trend, what else are we seeing, but it's also important to note that we really need everyone's help in helping us identify those close contacts, but then also making sure that we're quarantining if we are a close contact and isolating if we are infected.